tastes like What's algae. going on, Reefy Fam? March here, Fragbox TV, and Tia is complaining about the water tasting like <laughs> algae. <laughs> I don't know why. We told we show you guys here the good, the bad, and the ugly. And today is the ugly. The water tastes like algae. And why am I holding this? Why am I showing you this? What does this do? Pop quiz! What does this do? You both you both get brownie points. It raises phosphates. Why would you want to do that? That's crazy. Phosphates in a reef tank. We bought them out here quite often. What does that mean bottoming out? We get phosphates of what do we get when we tested Matt? Uh, when, like when we added yeah. Originally, originally yeah. Zero. We're at zero point zero zero. You do need some phosphates in the water. So how did we know the phosphates were low? The team noticed that we lost a couple euphilia here in the store. They, uh, oh, we still have one here, like I said. I'll show you on the channel the good, the bad, and the ugly. Near the frog spawn, we lost some torches, even a couple of blastos, chalice. So, dying coral, never a good thing. Oh, I think the big, the big one for us that really let us know, okay, something's up, something's going on with this system, was the Duncan. I don't think I've ever lost Duncan coral. Matt, you ever seen Duncan die? No. Yeah, and we lost a good number of them. This is kind of what's left here. This is such an incredibly, Easy, easy coral to keep. You can see that dead skeleton right there. That's a really, really bad sign. Is this one gonna make it? I am not sure. Someone commented on one of the videos. March, you take a long time to explain what you're gonna explain. Well, let me get to it. That's how my brain works. So we noticed that, not good. So we start testing. If anything's wrong with the tank, you start testing. And what we discovered was with the uh, help of our friend here, we like this Hannah checker. If you're gonna grab a Hannah one, this is probably one of the best ones they make. It's the ultra, look for that, ultra low range phosphorus parts per billion. This is the one you want. And we got a reading of zero, 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 point zero, like, like completely zero. So we call that bottoming out, it means there's absolutely no phosphate and you need some. So the water's too clean. So how did we get to that point here? I'm gonna hover over some nice flower pot as I explain. How do we get to that point where it became zero typically? You're not gonna run into that problem in a reef tank where it's super clean, but we're running this one almost like an ultra low nutrient system. You might see that online, people call it ULNS. And why that is, is because we take out a tremendous volume of water. Damn, FedEx truck just came and I could have showed you all the boxes we shipped out on a Monday. There's, this is full. There's like 50 boxes of corals getting shipped out. So what we do is we package the corals in a bag of water and we're giving away so many gallons of water every single day, it just keeps leaving. And so what we're doing essentially is water changing the system, we're lowering the phosphates as we add new salt water in. And so the phosphates get too low and then the corals die. That's my long-winded explanation. Now, how do we fix that? We wanna increase the phosphates. What we've started doing is, um, is feeding frozen and feeding a little bit heavier. I like these products here, not just because we sell them, not just because the fish go crazy, but we've been feeding more of this. So feeding more, adding more fish, and I have March's concoction here if you wanna see it. This is my soup mix. I took one bottle of each of these. Do not do this at home. This is like commercial um, industrial use only. So I took one bottle of each with some reefroids and some uh, reef energy, and it's literally like a, a soup of just junk because I'm just trying to increase the phosphates in the tank. Do not repeat. I repeat, do not do this at home. I'm purposefully trying to gunk up my water. That's one way of doing it. And then the other way of doing it is with that product I showed you. I'm just gonna put this down for a sec. Uh, it's with that product here from Brightwell. We really like their stuff, Neofos. So it's just a phosphate supplement. We're using a nitrate supplement because we also run low on the nitrates. But we're using, we're gonna use this and how I'm gonna add it to the system because I don't wanna come and do it every single day, I'm gonna use a doser. So that's gonna be today's, uh, the point of today's video. Hello sir, what are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Never a dull moment on Marley. Never a dull moment here. Okay, so we're gonna hook up one of these Camor X1 Pro dosers. This is a smart doser. Uh, we sell a ton of them and I've never actually hooked one up. So I wanted to hook one up and then give you my experience and my review and let you know. So it's a single doser. There's two different versions. There's the X1 and the X1 Pro. This one runs off Bluetooth, I believe. And this one runs off Wi-Fi. Is that the difference between the two? Yeah. yeah, this one runs Bluetooth, this one runs Wi-Fi, so if you're away, you can control it from anywhere. That's what I need. The other difference between the two, it is in Canadian dollars. We are up here in Canada. If you're new to the channel, hello. Uh, 90 versus 120, so $30 difference. And this one can also dose a much smaller 
and precise amount, maybe not precise, but a smaller amount. So this can dose as little as one mil, and this can dose as little as 0.1. So let's say you were gonna try and add, when would you want 0.1? Maybe a really small tank, or maybe something super concentrated, if you're using like a zeovit system that's calling for maybe less than a mil, or something, I'm not really sure where you would use that. Usually a mil is gonna be the smallest amount, but if that matters to you, that's, that's another Im, uh, important difference between the two of them. But we're gonna go with this one, with the Pro, and we're gonna hook it up downstairs. Another reason why I'm using this, and not the Neptune Dose, because I, oh, sorry, I love the Neptune Dose. Tia's using a dose at home too, right? Yep, Neptune Dose is awesome. I'll show you in a second, let's go to the basement. I don't really have the space to hook up a dose. Actually, I might not even have the space to hook up this one. We're a little bit tight, but I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. Lights, camera, action. Okay, this is the brain of the store. Down here, this is where our dosing happens. So we're using dosing as opposed to uh, maybe a calcium reactor. And then if I open this trusty IKEA cabinet, this is what makes everything tick in here. It's organized chaos. I know what's going on. The staff isn't allowed to touch it. It's my wild creation, but it's been running in, in operation for six years, so it does work. We just keep our hands out of it. If something isn't broken, then leave it alone. I don't think that's how the saying goes. We have our Trident in there, and behind it, our lower, sorry, I have the, uh, the Neptune doses, dosing the liquid, and then over here on the side, this is just some little like custom-made seven gallon containers. I'm using ESV nitrate because we are always running low on nitrate here in the system. And then now, today, we're gonna hook up the phosphate right next to it. Where am I gonna put this thing? That is a great uh, question. I haven't thought that far yet. Hmm, okay, let me figure that out. Okay, check this out. Pretty small form factor, actually. I like that, that's a great size. It's maybe two inches by three inches tall. Maybe I can shove these over. Oh, there we go. We can hang out somewhere in there. Okay, so I got it plugged in, comes with this little nice 12 volt uh, adapter, just plugs into a reg regular socket, and then I fish the line down, and you can actually put the head on, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the head piece here, you can change the orientation, let me see if I can just pop this off to show you what I'm talking about, no, so you can, you can mount it whichever way um, best suits you. How do you buy a new Neptune skylight, I mean, fuge light, and then forget it in the store? This, cus <laughs> this, this gentleman was here yesterday. I don't, I don't know how you do that. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Go to a store, go to buy something. Oh, I left it. Oh, because we're best friends. It's yeah, true. true. All right, all right. I got it hooked up. The app was pretty easy to use. I got it here hooked up to my phone. All you have to do to get it going is you download their app. Um, and then it's very simple. You take the back of the unit here. It's got a QR code right there. Uh, sorry, uh oh right there. You scan that. You connect to your Wi-Fi and then you start using the app. I think it probably, why is there liquid there? Uh oh. Okay, I think it took me no more than five minutes, maybe three minutes to get it up and running. And then the app is actually really easy to use. I like this feature here because it shows you, if you plug in how big your container is, so you see there it says 200 mils, it'll tell you how much is left. I programmed here PO4, which means phosphates, and then it's really easy. You just click on it, um, you can set the name, you can set the time, and then to add, to start adding, oh, I like this too, sorry, manual. So very responsive. So if you press start, it's like right away, thing starts uh, starts dosing. So you can purge a line or if you wanna add a little bit extra and then in case you leave it stuck on, that's a, that's a smart feature too. It'll um, count down. You can tell it how much you want to add. It's really intuitive. Like I said, less than five minutes to get it up and running. Little feature here, you got quick add. So you can adjust it, I'm doing 10 mils a day. I'm waiting for a larger bottle of the phosphate to come in. Um, I only have this little one here right now, um, but I got a two liter version on the way. And that is going here right next to our nitrates because our system is always too clean. Okay, and now it is nighttime. That is a product we sell a ton of here in the store, but I haven't had the chance to actually use it. And I can't say that for most of the stuff we sell here in the shop, if it's on the shelves, we have experience. If not me, then one of the other um, five staff members that work here have tried it. I will leave you with this. This is, oh, we'll take off the lens for the end. This is the prototype of our, oh, our stand here that we are making for our Studio 12s, which are now available. But we're working on the stands and we want to nail them. This is a prototype and I am very much not happy with it. This one will not be going to markets. I want everything to be done properly. I'm not just gonna sell stuff for the sake of selling stuff. This is a fun project, but the good thing about this is I like the color, actually. Comment of the day, what do you think? Do you like it? 
Um, just trying to break it up instead of always doing black or white. Is that something you would put in your house? I'm very, very uh, partial to it. I really like the wood effect, but I also like that kind of stuff in my house, which you're gonna see soon, because I'm gonna bring you guys home with me when I go to set one of these bad boys up right next to my, I think it's gonna go in my office, right next to my desk. But I think that's it for today's video. If you liked our review on the Camor X1 Pro, give us one of these and we'll see you guys back here shortly. Love each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Look at this nice plant Tia brought me.